Hey, how are you doing? This is Brian James Shanley, and you are listening to my video blog, which is entitled Brian James Shanley Raw. This is episode number 19. It's been a hell of a long time. If you look at the date stamp of this, it literally says December 2022. So we're a breath away from the year 2023. Just one episode previous was episode 18, and that was, I believe, in March of 2021. There's damn near a two-year gap. You haven't heard from me in Brian James Shanley Raw format for damn near two years. And in that two years, I've been getting messages and messages and messages from people. Uh, one guy in New York, Los Angeles, Oklahoma, everywhere in between, Texas. When are you going to do Brian James Shanley Raw again? Um, I, I, I think of like... Uh, Sylvester Stallone. He can go out and do Judge Dredd and he can do whatever Bullet to the Head and Expendables and he can do all these other movies but we all want to see him go back and do Rocky one more time. You know what I mean? Schwarzenegger. He can be Total Recall. He can he can do uh, whatever the heck. He can be pregnant with Danny DeVito and the twins or whatever but you want to see him be the Terminator one more time. Eddie Murphy. You know, he can go on and be Mr. Church. He can go on and he can do uh, whatever, uh, Dream Girls and uh, all that stuff. But we want to see him become the Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley one more time. For nostalgia reasons, you always want to see the person that uh, you basically, be they became known to you fulfilling a certain role. And you want to recreate that time period. So you want to see that person in that role again. And... Even though I've went on to do speaking engagements and discussions and lecture series, I've written books, and I'm like, hey, I'm doing this speaking engagement here. Everyone still says, why don't you go back and do Brian James Shanley Raw one more time? This is my Rocky Balboa. This is my Terminator. This is my Axel Foley Beverly Hills Cop, I guess. This is the thing that people want me to slide back into because they're familiar with me being here and I honestly thought that the last episode I did if that was going to be the swan song almost a couple of years ago I was fine with it Brian James Shanley Raw as you remember the first episode I did it was in the late summer slash early fall of 2017 and I was discussing the fact that this country is inching towards civil war and you can see right now it's already in a cold civil war right uh, the war of rhetoric, the war of propaganda. It's a techno it's a technological kind of thing. And uh, eventually, I thought it would develop into a hot war on the streets of the major cities of this country. And maybe even your grandchildren would be fighting in it. You fast forward over five years, and here we're sitting in late 2022. And much of what I was talking about has come to pass. Many of the things that I was warning about were avoidable at that time, and now they're not avoidable anymore. Uh, 2017 versus 2022, it's night and day. It's a different thing. But um, I, I, I hate to say this, <clears throat> but um, the rabbis used to talk about the prophets, and they would call them the people of whom the world was unworthy. I'm not trying to say that I'm anything. But I'm going to tell you this, as a person who functions in the role of, I don't know, I'm not going to say prophet in the sense that I'm putting forth new doctrine, but prophet in the sense that I'm putting forth the specific view uh, of, of the, the, the Christian position, if you will, and Christianity is the most full and accurate expression of Judaism. And so the, the position of the God of Judaism and Christianity I, I put that forth, you know, and uh, people who are asleep to certain truths, I wake them up to that. That is the purpose of this thing. If there's a lie going through the culture, if the culture and society is saying uh, one plus one is 11, I will blast you with, no, one plus one is two. The television just lied to you. All right. You got to think about it. If the society that we live in is full of lies, 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 on the street, in the community, lies, lies, I hate to say it, even in the church, lies, 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 there's lies on the television, there's lies at the movie house on the big screen, you've got lies in the secular workplace, the, 
the management theory textbooks. Um, you've got lies in the secular heathen university. You've got lies in the Christian university and seminary. You've got lies in the K through 12 government run public school system. You've got lies everywhere. Lies at the, at the daycare center. Lies in different uh, offices of the government. You're getting lied, lied, lied constantly. That's how people are being trained and instructed in a, a, a cesspool, a shithole full of lies. And they're receiving these lies as though they're the truth. And they grow up the, from diapers. They're receiving lies when they're watching their favorite cartoons. All of a sudden they get older, older, older. Some of these lies, they even become, they have this emotional bond with the lie, an emotional attachment to the lie, right? One plus one is 11. How do I know? The television told me. My teacher told me. My parents told me. The, the community told me. The sweet old lady who, who knits sweaters told me. Somebody told me this lie, and it's beautiful, and I believe one plus one is 11. When God raises up uh, a prophet, a truth teller, a, a warner, uh, a mouthpiece, whatever you want to call it, and he has to take a microphone or some kind of public platform and tell the society that's love, that, that functions and operates based on lies, 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 that no, what you guys believe is false. One plus one is not 11. One plus one is two. You've basically told a bunch of kids there's no Santa Claus. You've basically slaughtered a sacred cow. Not only do people reject what you're saying, even though you're warning them of the inevitable consequences of certain behaviors and certain uh, worldviews being fleshed out and stuff, you, you have good motives, but they don't know you have good motives and they don't care that you have good motives. They hate the things you're saying, but they also hate you. So not only do they give a complete middle finger to those things which you lovingly taught them, but they begin to talk badly about your character, your your motives, your heart. They begin to, to look up any kind of dirt. This man is allergic to fish, or he hates, he, he's allergic to cats, or, you know, when he was in third grade, he, he threw a spitball or whatever. And they will use this as though it somehow has some logical relationship to the factual accuracy of what you've said. But it helps them to stay comfortable in their rejection of truth. Picture being an atheist, an agnostic, a skeptic, a, a know-it-all, a free thinker, a, a Muslim, or a, a pagan spiritualist. It's a security blanket, right? Because you don't have to face the God of Christianity one day and be held accountable for how you lived and what you believed. So the straws that you will grasp at in terms of the things you're willing to believe to keep that security blanket on are very remarkable. And the moment someone comes along and and pokes holes at these things, or, or pulls on the string, very thin string that holds it all together, you're going to react in a pretty angry way. So you get tired of telling people the truth. And not only do they not, not listen to it, but they see the consequences, and they keep right on going business as usual. After a while, you get tired. You're like, screw it. These people don't deserve my voice anymore. I'm frustrated. I'm displeased. I think it's human. You know what I mean? Um, you speak the truth and it falls on deaf ears. And so I was happy to go on to other projects. I never wanted to touch Brian James Shanley Raw again. I never wanted to do this video blog again. I never wanted to record anything again. But you guys keep sending me messages. I got a perfect idea for an episode of Brian James Shanley Raw. Uh, one dude wants me to advise him as to whether or not to take a lie detector test. I got more questions about Dr. Robert Morey. You know, being the direct student of Dr. Robert Morey, who was the direct student of Walter Martin, which makes me the indirect student of Walter Martin, while I was a young man, still going, still at the beginning stages of, of fulfilling my calling, did I know that being Robert Morey's direct student was a big deal? Yeah. Did I think I was going to get asked about the man in every Q&A session I ever did for the rest of my life? I didn't know that. Uh, I've got people that want me to talk about a zombie apocalypse. I'm not kidding. Zombie apocalypse. Black Israelites, conspiracy theories, um, aliens, UFOs, uh, whether or not Jesus was born on December 25th, and if he wasn't, should we celebrate Christmas, not celebrate Christmas? People just keep sending me messages, messages. What do you think about January 6th? What do you think about the Trump presidency? 
um, the, the 2020 election and all that stuff. So I think out of necessity, I guess I have to return and do a few more episodes of this show. I could address a lot of these things in one episode, but my experience with the general population, and I'm sorry to say it, is that uh, the average attention span of the pop of, of normal people is maybe that of a gnat. Why do you think that? What is the Chinese spyware? The TikTok. Why do you think TikTok is only a few seconds and they move on to something else? Because they think you're stupid. And many people are stupid because you've been growing up on Adderall, Ritalin, marijuana, stuff like that. And your brain is wired to process information when it comes in small, easy to digest, manageable chunks. So if I was to expound for 45 minutes and answer seven or eight questions, you'd be like, this is too long. Ugh, I'm intimidated. So you got to keep things short. K-I-S-S, KISS. Keep it simple and stupid. So I can't address all of the questions or even a bunch of the questions in one episode, but I've got enough material to where I can film a bunch. And uh, it's late into the night. I might film them all in one sitting, although I might change backgrounds or outfits just so it's not too boring. You know what I'm saying? Or I might uh, do it over the next couple of weeks. But Brian James Shanley Raw will return for a limited time. If this was, uh, if you were binge watching a television show, I guess this would be the beginning of a new season. It's a it's a premiere, season premiere, whatever you want to call it. Um, you got to take the boxing gloves out once again and, and have one final match, apparently. So um, here I go. I can do no other, so help me God. Brian James Shanley Raw is returning, uh, and, and it's a privilege and an honor to be trusted in your life. Um, I... When I look at the condition of the world and of the professing Christian church and of the United States of America, we it's like, do you, do you deserve my voice? Do you deserve me to tell you the truth? I don't even know. But uh, God seems to be speaking through uh, a variety of circumstances that maybe it's time to throw down a little bit more magic. While my mouth and my brain are still talking properly and exchanging ideas so I can put the stuff out there, um, I don't read... A gazillion books every week so that I can hog and hoard the the knowledge and the research but I should be putting forth the fruit I do in other forums but this seems to be your favorite so what the hell uh we will be dealing with Brian James Shanley Raw coming up um times are times are tough right now I mean the United States presidency the most powerful position the leader of the free world just changed hands through the most controversial and suspicious circumstances that have ever been seen. I have friends who are uh, missionaries in Pakistan, Iran, uh, Central, South, and Latin America. Everyone who's not from America, when I discussed the 2020 presidential election with them, because they've all been dealt with in one form or another, banana republics, um, that the people have an illusion of choice, but there is no choice. They know exactly what the hell just happened, and they know what, what the hell just took over this country. And so it's like the Kennedy assassination of our time, in a way. Um, something crooked happened, and new people moved in to take over, and they mean you no good. And then the day that there was going to be a conversation about the integrity of this election, there was a Reichstag fire-style uh, false flag staged event that has been blamed on the very people who would never do it. And uh, dumb people are like, January 6th, it was this particular group. No, that particular group wanted to have a fleshed out conversation on the floor of the House of Representatives. They would not have ruined their own forum to be heard. It was other people. But the, the corporations that own the television networks We'll try to instruct you that it was different. Anyways, uh, forthcoming, you're going to see me uh, give a counseling advice to an anonymous dude whether he should take a lie detector test. You're going to hear me uh, come to the aid of Robert Morey. People are attacking the man who's been dead for almost four years. Why? What do you have to gain? Uh, he was a friend of mine. Um, I'm not going to stab him in the back. I didn't do it in life. I'm not going to do it in death. But if you lie about him, the gloves are coming off. If you want to piss me off, talk badly about Robert Morey and make sure you're lying, please.
I'm going to deal with the so-called zombie apocalypses. I'm going to deal with the black Israelites. Uh, churches in Chicago, Minneapolis in the 2020s are just waking up to the black Israelites are here. No doubt, dummy. I've been dealing with them for 30 years. The difference is when I was dealing with them 30 years ago, you laughed at me. The very people who laughed at me, why are you studying that mess? I'm the authority on it now. I chew black Israelites alive in debate format for fun. I'll go to lunch right after. I don't give a crap. But I have been training to do this for decades. All right. Um, conspiracy theory stuff. I'm going to deal with some of the good, bad, and ugly and the terminology itself. Uh, and then the classic attack on Christmas. Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. Therefore, if you observe Christmas on December 25th, you're a real pile of trash. I'm going to address people who say that kind of garbage, and I'll put them in check. It's going to be different episodes. Um, there's going to be other stuff. But um, the truth from a Christian's perspective is going to be spoken once again about today's issues. You've been without my voice. Let's just hope that you being without my voice for a long period of time has taught you something. Maybe now that the voice is running once again being fed by the mind, uh, maybe you're going to have a little appreciation for it this time. All right, so I don't feel like it's going to be time to leave and disappear for another couple of years. We might not even have another couple of years when you look at what's happening here. We are this close. We are this close to losing it all. Ronald Reagan once said, we are always one generation away from losing everything. He, wa he wasn't lying, you know what I mean? Uh, this is the generation that might piss it all away. Um, you've all been, you know, watching Netflix, watching pornography, smoking your marijuana, playing your video games, and, uh, while you're doing all this little garbage, checking your social media, while you've been asleep in this matrix of all this crap, major moves are being made against you, your